Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So still looking at a major storm system for Colorado. It'll spin up on 313, 314, and probably into early 315. And my forecast totals have stayed steady from this morning through this afternoon. So that is a good sign, a little more confidence right there. So here's the timeline. Colorado in the mountains, you've got light snow coming late tonight, overnight into tomorrow morning. Your bulk or the heaviest accumulation of snow will come the afternoon of 313, the night of 313, into 314, and maybe even trickling into early 315 before all the snow exits the state to the south. Tetons, light to moderate snow now through tomorrow. Wasatch, moderate accumulations of snow now through tomorrow. New Mexico, light accumulations tomorrow, moderate to heavy 314, 15, and 16. In the northeast, um, temperatures just look even a little bit warmer during this update. So I've got mainly rain on 315 unless you're at the very highest of elevations and you'll get some snow. Rain snow on 317. So that has cut down overall on my accumulations for the northeast. Okay, water vapor this afternoon. Here's the setup. So again on this, your moisture aloft being transported in the whites and the blues and the greens. Here's our big storm system. It's pushing that, that uh, boundary of snow through parts of the Tetons and the Wasatch as we speak. Eventually, though, this low is going to spin up into a panhandle-type storm system here. And that will maximize your lift up and down the front range of Colorado through the foothills above 6,000 feet. On top of the Continental Divide and in southern Colorado, that's where we're going to see 1 to 3 feet of accumulation. Here's the jet forecast, and you can see the dip in the jet happening right now. The storm is building. It will mature tomorrow. Look at the depth of the trough right here through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico. And it's still there on 314, but it's getting a little wacky. The low is getting cut off and it's moving back to the west and it's retrograding over the top of parts of uh, Arizona, southern Utah, and parts of Nevada even. And it's not going anywhere. It's going to sit there and spin and it's going to get eaten up. And it's done and it will die by the time we get into about 318, 319. There's still some high pressure for the Pacific Northwest and BC 316, 17, 18, but that's probably the extent of it. By 319, 2021, the next storm system and trough and buckling jet, you can see it dropping south into the northern tier there. That occurs and that's going to bring a storm system and snow back to BC, Pacific Northwest, especially the northern tier. All right, let's look at precip. So that's your forecast radar by 5.30 today. Here comes the storm. Builds into Colorado. Starts tomorrow morning. You can see the snow firing up. We'll probably have some rain showers in Denver tomorrow morning. And probably some heavier rain for Denver tomorrow afternoon. So areas below 6,000 feet, tomorrow is just mainly wet. If you're above that, you're probably going to have heavy snow. Here we are tomorrow afternoon. Still looking at mainly rain in Denver. Heavy snow above 6,000 foothills and continental divide, southern Colorado. Here we are on Thursday morning. It has changed over to snow in Denver at that point. The storm is strengthening, colder air is moving in, and you've got heavy snow um, across Denver and the Front Range. Significantly less, though, across northern Colorado. Less in Fort Collins, less in Greeley. You're getting kind of a downsloping wind. Heavy snow, continental divide, foothills, southern Colorado. Now Taos, northern New Mexico, in the mix. Here we are, 314 in the afternoon. Still snowing in many of the same places. Look at the morning of 315. Snow might continue. Might trickle into the morning, especially I-70 south. But the whole thing is dropping to the south. And it's going to... It's going to get trapped down here around the Four Corners, Arizona, southern Utah. It's still spinning. There it is. Not going anywhere. Now, by the time we get into 319, that thing is still spinning. But look to the north. Um, here comes the next frontal boundary, dropping down to BC. And we could get some decent accumulations around Banff and also through the interior parts of BC. And then the snow drops all the way down into Idaho and Wyoming, Montana, and... That low actually kicks a little bit of snow back into Colorado on 320. And then here comes that uh, series of cold fronts coming in from the north, and that'll probably continue into 322. All right, my latest snow numbers. Um, grand totals by late 321. Um, we'll, so the Wasatch, 7 to 15 inches grand totals. 8 to 10 in the Tetons. Look at the numbers up in B.C., 
Pacific Northwest. Again, that all happens around 320 and 321. Okay, let's focus on Colorado. One to three feet is likely. Um, in air, You can see the brightest purples. In those areas, that's the heaviest accumulation. Great accumulations for northern New Mexico as well. Let me zoom in on this map to the front range of Colorado. So Denver down below, 5280. You're looking west through the foothills and then up to the Continental Divide and then west beyond that. So the bullseye is pretty clear. It's in that bright purple, bright pink. And that's the foothills, essentially, leading up to the divide. Not quite to the divide, but very, very close. Those areas could see over two feet, potentially three feet of accumulation. You can see the areas, Allen's Park, Colt Creek, Long's Peak, Idaho Springs, Beardstadt, Conifer, Aspen Park. Um, big time numbers. Down in Denver, again, a lot of it's just rain on 313. But then it does shift over to snow. Late um, 313 through the day on 314. Probably trickling into early 315. My numbers are much lighter for northern Colorado. Very, very light. Uh, two, three, four inches. In the Denver metro area proper, the numbers are going to vary significantly. West of I-25, you could be at a foot or more. It's, it's just that simple. East of I-25, the numbers go down pretty fast. It'll be interesting to watch this play out. Um, west uh, of the Continental Divide, so down in Summit County, Vail, those areas will probably get a foot. But your snow comes as the storm system is moving in. Once it matures, it's mainly a divide east type of storm system. Okay, let's do it by time frame. So rest of today through tomorrow, you can see the numbers, another 4 or 5 in the Tetons, 5 to 12 in the Wasatch. So tomorrow will be a good powder day, and the numbers will build in Colorado. Second time period is when we start to see the maturity from the storm system and lots of big totals. A foot is in the, anything in purple is over a foot. Then the low retrogrades and we start to see the numbers tick up in Brian Head and also the snowball of Arizona. Final time period, 317 through 321. Most of the accumulation you see in the Pacific Northwest, BC and Montana happens 320, 321. And a little bit of that does swipe Wyoming Utah, and also Colorado. Last stop is the Northeast. I took down most of the totals, decreased them as a result of the warmer temperature scheme that I'm sort of um, playing into my forecast, but you can see potentially some accumulation. The best is in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. All right, guys, we'll end on this grand total map. We have a lot of snow yet to go with this uh, storm system for Colorado, northern New Mexico. I'll definitely watch it, keep things updated here, but it is still on track. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.